Hello animation people, welcome to another episode for Animation Tip. This is episode 2 and I am Andrew Tan. So today we're gonna learn about the hotkeys for Maya. But you can also use this for any other design software where you can change its hotkeys. Yeah. Alright, so the, the trouble with our Maya uh, default hotkeys for animation specifically, the hotkeys are really far away. The ones that you want to use very often, it's, they're all very far away from each other. So I find myself looking at the keyboard, I mean look at the screen and looking at the keyboard doing this mo doing this um, back and forth way too often. And you know this is a few seconds but over time it adds up to minutes and then minutes to hours. I've been doing this for six years and I only discovered this this hotkey. I, I just get discovered a customized hotkey three years ago. So those three years earlier I've been <laughs> what, what I've been doing. So I'm going to show you how it looks like. I did some research and I found this guy, animation with a mustache, that's his blog's name. Um, his real name is right here, I think, I hope, I don't know. So I took his concept of this setup and I kind of tweak it to my own, like this. It, my drawings are not as nice, I just use Google Drawings because I just want to get the message out, right? This one is much prettier. So anyways. Um, you realize all the hotkeys are on the left side of the keyboard. Right, you can see my keyboard, wireless keyboard. Yeah, it's all on the left side of the keyboard. So I all I have to do is just put my hands on the ASDF and everything is within reach. And um, yeah, at first when you do this, it's going to take a while for you to get used to. But after a week or two of animating, it just flows right through. No problem at all. And you realize that I put hotkeys for graph editor as well. Uh, this I learned from uh, my years in Rhythm and Hughes. They have hotkeys for graph editor. It's awesome. I, I didn't know why I didn't think of this. So you should do this too. You're going to be spending a lot of time on the graph editor. Right now, I'm going to show you how you're going to do these settings. So we go to Windows, Settings, Preferences, and Hotkeys set Hotkey Editor. Yes, you get this. I'm using 2015. I believe uh, 2016 is a little different now. It's the UI is better, so it's it's it looks more use eye friendly, user friendly. But I'm I'm not used to it. But oh well, you can figure it out if you're using 2016. Um, let's try one. Let's see. I'll show you this tool. Now uh, this is a new tool that I discovered from uh, this guy. It's called Time Dragger Tool. All right, and this some tools are a little tricky to find. So I, you can see that label here is under tools. So let's try to set this up. I have it, I already have it set up, but I'll just show you where to get it. So you go under tools, and then uh, time dragger tool activate. Is it? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Okay, whatever. So I have, I have it here. X set up. And all you have to do is just um yeah just hit X here and just hit sign. Pretty straightforward and simple. And then once you've done all your hotkey setup, you just hit save, and everything should just work. But at certain certain occasions, some hotkeys do not work yet. So you have to restart Maya, and then everything will be okay. Right now, I'm going to show you how to find these files on your documents section. So you can take these files and just bring it to another computer with that using the same Maya and it will just work there as well. You don't have to do this, this whole setup of hotkeys. It's, it's pretty annoying, I don't like doing it. But you know, I just do it anyway. So it's under documents, Maya, <coughs> 2015, preferences, and you will see these files. User hotkey, name comments, and preferences. You need these three files. So copy them into your thumb drive, cloud, and then just bring it to another PC. Copy that into the same exact place and it should run perfectly fine. Yeah, that's it. So I hope you learned something new today. And I hope you can use this in any other softwares that you use, if they allow you to. Um, I'll be making more of these videos um, to help you speed up your workflow. But these are little things that people don't really talk about in the animation. When people are learning about animation, they are focused on just the you know making it nice. But uh, there are little things like this that could speed up your workflow. 
Okay, uh, just little tips and tricks. <coughs> so thank you for watching. Um, I'll be make stay tuned for more of these videos, and see you later.